All right. <clears throat> here we are. I'm going to get rid of this music here. There we go. All right. Welcome to Master System Mania. Uh, I know I started this a while ago, but uh, we're doing it, and we're going to go all the way with it. I've spaced out the games from each country, so we're going to do USA first as the first set of episodes. I'll probably do like three to five episodes a game. Games an episode. <laughs> and uh, we're going to pick them at random, and the U.S. has 114 games to go through. So let me pull up the wheel. Let's pull the logo down. Nope, that's not it. There it is. All right, let's uh, spin the wheel and pick the first game. Let's see what we get. Hey, Shanghai. All right. So just give me a moment and we'll get that set up. High choice. Let me pull up my game here. There we go. Just got to make one more adjustment here. Okay. So, uh, I'm not going to set myself, like, a time limit for each of these games. I'm going to play it until, basically, you get the gist of what it is we're doing here. Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. They know how to play. So, yep, this is, uh, this is sol Mahjong Solitaire, basically. Okay. There we go. So, you just push the button on one. Push the button on another. And then press the button again to make him disappear. Pretty simple. Get this one here. Okay, can't get that one. Because it's inside a thing. Let's see. You can also go up. Uh, you can get hints if you want. Get this one, though. There we go. I don't think I'm going to play through this entire thing. I might. You have a time, but it's not a time limit. It's just uh, timing how long it's taking you to do this. So yeah, the Sega Master System was the first uh, game system I ever had growing up. And I really enjoyed it. And I feel sometimes like it doesn't get too much... Uh, recognition or anything like that that might not be the same now but you know there was a long time where I felt like nobody was like talking about it oh okay that wasn't a hint <laughs> and another thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be ranking these games of course, it's going to be my ranking, so you'll get to see which games I like and which games I don't like so much. And this one's turned into a game that I don't like so much because it is very slow. So can I do this one? Nope, I can't do this one though. Nope.
And since I'm doing the games that came out in the U.S., you're not going to hear any of the FM sound that some of the games had. I don't really like the FM sound that much anyway. I much prefer the PNG sound. Okay. Alright, I think you got the gist of this game. So, let's just let's see here. Okay, uh, let's pick the next game. And then at the end, I'll uh, rank them. Okay, so let's pull the wheel back up. There it is. And let's see what's next. Okay. Alright, wanted. So I'm going to see if I can get this to work. Because it is a light gun game. And sometimes the light gun games are a little temperamental. Let's get the game going. Okay, first things first. Rid of that. Okay, let's see. Now well, let me just uh, go into here quick. Okay, just give me one more second. Okay, let's see. Whoop. Someone got picked. Okay. Well, this is bad because uh, I ain't got no crosshair. Let me check something here. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep, poor guy's dead. All right, I'm gonna have to do something different for the light gun games. So I see this is already shaping up to be good. Let's pull that down and let's pick something else. I'm gonna have to do a whole different thing for when I want to do a light gun game. So I'll make sure to put Wanted back in the rotation. Let's see what we get next. Okay. Something I can actually play. That's good. Just give me a second. Okay. A little bit of a mishap there. 
It's using the different title, but that's okay. This is one of the games that I actually owned for the Sega Master System as a kid. Oh, let me set the options back. Pad. Let me just do a quick right, two. Okay. This one you can actually build tracks. Uh, it doesn't save it though. But you can build it and race around on it. Deck level one. And it's just pretty much a typical racing game. You gotta press up and down to shift the gears. And you gotta accelerate and brake. And you gotta make sure not to hit into the other cars or go off the road. Although the cars will come at you, as you can see. And you have to be careful when you're going slow because cars will ram you from behind and take even more time away. <laughs> and I can see that the gameplay skills I had when I was three years old are just about the same as I am now at 39. Yeah, sometimes you gotta let go of the accelerator. <laughs> Yeah, luckily the time's not counting down, so there doesn't seem to be a time limit. See if I can, you know, finish one lap at least. See that guy? That guy veered right in front of me. Yay! <laughs> I did it. Okay, uh, that was world. That was World Grand Prix. Uh, I didn't do good enough to actually, you know, advance. But that's pretty much what the gist of the game is there. So let's pull up the next game. Let's plow through these quick. That's okay though. Eventually we'll hit something that I can spend more than five minutes on. Okay. Pull that down. Push this up. And let's see what's next. Hey, there we go. Okay. Let me just switch this out here. this I'm deleting the games as I go along so that way when it comes time to rank them it's easier for me to remember which games we played because I have a bad memory okay pull that down push that up push that up there we go. So, uh, Tears Choplifter. This started on the Apple IIe computers and then was ported to pretty much every system that existed back then. I also had this game as a kid. Didn't get very far in it though, because it is hard as hell.
Let's see if I can beat the first level. Yep, 1982. This game was made one year before I was born. So you got two buttons, like everything else. One button shoots, and then the second button rotates the helicopter. If you're facing straight on, you get bombs. If you're facing the side, you get shots. And you just have to be careful because there's a whole lot of enemy encampments and stuff around trying to shoot at you. And the point of this game is you need to rescue hostages. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing little hops, because if you stay on the ground for too long, a tank comes and starts lobbing shots at you. And you don't want that, because if your copter blows up with uh, too many people in it, you're going to lose the level. Because the whole point of this game is to rescue the hostages, not kill them. You just got to land on here. Boop. And let him out. You gotta rescue 40 hostages in the level in order to beat it. Okay, I'm gonna wait for those planes to calm down a little bit up there. Because the further in you go, the more uh, enemies you're gonna see. And it's a little difficult to hit the planes because if you're going full speed, you're tilting downwards. There we go. Start hopping. Whoop, I'm just gonna go. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> okay. That's seven down, but don't worry, uh, there's plenty more we can grab. That plane almost kamikaze then to me. In fact, that second build, yep, I was gonna say the people should still be there. Keep bouncing up and down. Nope, get over here. And then once you cr cross those blocks there, that's when you know you're close to where you need to be. Okay, so I'm halfway there. And I got an extra life as well. I don't know how that one didn't hit, didn't hit me. <laughs> Hey, easy there, fucko. Here, get down. <laughs> Come on over here. I don't want to lunge at them because if you land directly on top of one of them, they get killed as well. close calls. Nope, not close enough. There we go. That'll let him out. Gotta weave through him. I think that's enough. Alright! Okay, level two. You're on the ocean now. Come on. 
Ah, whatever. Yep, this is where the tossages are in this stage. And you gotta hop in here, too. Otherwise, this ship will start coming around at you. I don't think that'll reach. No, it doesn't. Good. 16. Whoop. No, no. Bad. I see there's subs. There's all kinds of shit coming at you here. There we go. More than likely what'll happen if I stay still for too long, a sub will pop up. Come on, little guy. There we go. Shit. I didn't see that until it was too late. <laughs> well, that's a whole 16 people dead. find another one. Whoop. Oh well. You pretty much got the gist of it. Try one more time. I don't think there's any. Oh, my bullets can deflect their bullets. Interesting. Alright. Well, that's the end of that. But yeah, that's a good game. I like that one. Next. Probably the hardest game I've ever played in my entire life. Let's get that down. First, get rid of that. This game was created by Coraland and the Arcade. Uh, Coraland is a company that you might recognize today as Band Presto. And basically that's the plot. And this is the game. It is a, a belt scroller and you just gotta kick the shit out of everybody you see. You can punch, you can duck kick. And you can jump kick. You're mostly gonna want to jump kick because of shit like that. You die very fast in this game. You can kick these bottles to uh, knock out other people. And you'll see that stuff kind of happens in waves, like there was those guys, there's knife throwers. And 
if you miss one shot, that's it. You're done. It's one hit and you're dead. And everything can tag you. And then you get this shit. Like, you got these navy mines coming at you. Now there's bombs. This is a game of rote memorization. <laughs> because stuff like that'll happen. And that's it. That's typically how a game of My Hero goes. Let's try again. See? You gotta really be careful. Because the second somebody tags you, you're out. And your main character doesn't do well with uh, guys that are stacked next to each other. This is probably the most frustrating game I ever played as a kid. Because I could never get past the first level. Hell, I can barely get past the first level now. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. <laughs> See, that one went in a different tra trajectory than the last time. Alright, one more time. I'll more than likely do deeper playthroughs of most of these games, but, uh, you know, this is just to show them off and then to rank them. I might not even rank them. I might not even just bother with that whole thing. This just might be a thing just to show off all the games that the Sega Master System has. That's enough of that. Yeah, that was my hero. Very fun. We'll let that go off. Okay, let's uh, pick up the next game. And I'm gonna skip anything that's a, a light gun game. Okay. Let's see what we get. Okay, that's a light gun game. So we're gonna skip that. There we go. Okay, Fantasy Zone 2. We're getting all the good ones. That makes me shudder to think what the later episodes are going to be like. Okay. Pull that down. Okay, first. Get rid of my hero. So, Fancy Zone 2, sequel to Fancy Zone, of course. One thing you'll notice about the majority of the games here is their copyright all by Sega. Uh, pretty much for the entire US run, at least, every single game was pretty much done by Sega, except in a few cases. 
They either had to reprogram the game themselves, like in uh, My Hero's case, or it's just their arcade games that they ported to the system. Okay, so, Fantasy Zone. It's, uh, they call it a cute em up. Because you got, uh, you know, it's very cute aesthetic here. And this sequel is very much improved over the original Fantasy Zone. Because with the original Fantasy Zone, you had, uh, just one area you could go through. But now you see with this one, there's multiple planes you have to go through in order to get rid of all these uh, enemy generators. Okay, let's see. And you get money to buy shit at the shop. And that's pretty much uh, all my money there. So now I can move a little bit faster. The nice thing about uh, this game is, though, you can go to the shop multiple times. Whereas in the first game, you could only visit the shop when you saw a shop balloon come down. Here, let me go back in. Because I want these. And then you see you can uh, pick your weapons as well. But now you can throw two bombs at once instead of uh, just one. Okay, I think that's every generator in this area. Whoop. So what they did there? Okay, that red warp is the boss. And you won't be able to access that until you've defeated all of the enemy generators. And there's also certain areas you can go to where there'll be a hidden shop on the ground if you shoot in the right spot. Okay, it doesn't look like there's one here. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Some ones we missed. There, that should be all of them. We go in here. Yep, there we go. And I touched a thing. I touched a log. I touched grass. And now I'm back to the crappy slow thing. So you just want to shoot them as you dodge the logs, pretty much. It takes care of itself eventually. Unless, of course, you know, I keep getting killed. Come on, man, it's the first boss. Knock it off. Hmm. Oh well. I'm gonna try one more time. No, I want muns. Give me muns. See if I can make it to a warp. Thank you. Ugh, man. Bad at this. <laughs> I 
One thing you learn how to do in this game is if you tap forward before you uh, drop a bomb, it goes a lot further. Give me that dollar. No, I missed it. I think this leads to this. Yep, there's the shop. Yeah, let me get in here. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get those. And those. Hopefully I can hold on to them. Okay, let's actually uh, do this without screwing up this time. Finally. I'm so slow. Nope. See, it's a very colorful game, as you can see. here try to find a shop whoa this guy just came out of nowhere all right okay you get the general idea of this one I'm probably I don't think I'm gonna do this for two hours <laughs> Uh, we could let it run, and you can see the lore to this game. Because these games have extremely insane lore to them. Oh, this is just where I was. With someone who's probably a better player than I am. Usually takes a usually takes a few uh, demo screens for it to start running the story. There it is. So previously in the space year six two one six. A courageous hero called Opa Opa annihilated the invading enemy and restored peace to the Fantasy Zone. Now ten years have elapsed and the Fantasy Zone has expanded its domain several fold. However, a crisis is once again unfolding. In deep contemplation, Opa Opa recalls to mind the battle he fought ten years ago and wonders who was the mastermind behind their leader. Foremost in his thoughts is the whereabouts of his father who disappeared after the truth became known that he was the enemy leader. Now history is repeating itself, and the planets that make up the Fantasy Zone once again find themselves being victimized by the mastermind of the Nenon Planet Forces. 
And it just goes on from there because it's moving too fast. <laughs> but yeah, uh, in the first game, you find out your father is the final boss and you gotta fight him. And with the subtitle of this game being The Tears of Opa Opa, I can't imagine that this ends any happier. Yeah. Hey, Pathy Z. Uh, you missed a few games, but you'll catch them in the VOD, I'm sure. Uh, let me get to the next one. Okay. Pathy is fine, yeah. Here's the wheel. And let's give her a spin. Let's see what we get. Ah, Thunderblade. There we go. Let me pull that up. this first. Go to the T section. Thunderblade and this game sucks. <laughs> Compared to the arcade, they really had to strip this down to fit it onto a uh, Master System cartridge. Whoop. And that's how quick you die. You got bullets for air targets and you got missiles for ground targets that's about it and bullets are hard to see <laughs> and as you see the enemies just come at random you know there's no set pattern for them to actually come at you let's try that again Yeah, it really sets in the how badly you did. Okay, now I gotta be on the lookout for if these helicopters just lunge out of the side of the screen. Yep, just like that. I mean, who flies a helicopter like that? Seriously. <laughs> wow, this guy's enterprising. <laughs> okay, so don't go around that guy. Just shoot him. Oh, hey, I actually made it to the next part where it gets even worse. <laughs> Yay, I've died in a ball of fire. No, it is not. So, uh, while we look at my Burning wreckage and smoldering corpse. There we go. Uh, let me pull up the next game. Because I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to play that one again. 
Yeah, here's, a, here's another example of the head-on sections. Yeah, that's just about how well you, you'd expect it, though. I mean, the they tried their best to do the Super Scaler games justice, but they're very difficult to pull off on this uh, Master System here. Alright. Next game. Let's see. Ooh. Paperboy. A game I hate. <laughs> we'll see how it stacks up to the NES version. Whoop, forgot to pull that down. There we go. Okay. Pull this up. Where is it? There it is. Mm, go to where the peas are. There we go. Pooper boy. I love that startup. There he is. Tear Tex. That's a name you're going to see a lot in the uh, Master System. And whenever you see their name, uh, just prepare yourself. Okay, uh, Paperboy. It's pretty simple. You're delivering papers, you're on a bike, you gotta deliver papers to the yellow houses, and the black houses, you gotta put their windows out. And you can use papers to uh, stop people. There we go, that's one. There we go. Put it through the window there. You can press up and down to speed up or slow down. And the one button throws the papers, which I'm out of. I need to pick some up. And you just gotta avoid all the crap that's in the road and on the sidewalk. Please, can I get one paper? Uh, too late. There we go. Yeah, if you get it in the mailbox, you get more points. And that happens. But you pretty much start off right where you uh, left off, so... There we go. Got it on the doorstep there. There we go. And then when you reach the end of a day, you get to do a obstacle course. Where you try to hit the targets with the paper, which I ran out of. Nope, didn't quite make it. Oh well. Yep, <laughs> they all got pissed and canceled their subscriptions. So now I only gotta worry about the houses up there. But if I put newspapers through their windows, uh, they'll become subscribers again. But it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Nope, it certainly is not. There we 
go. Found through a few windows there. Yeah, this game is pretty brutal. It looks better than the NES version, though. Which, you're gonna find that with a lot of Master System games. Uh, they... The Master System graphically was a lot better than the NES was. But it failed to take off because Nintendo would basically... Go to a store and say, hey, if you're selling Sega Master System games... Oh, we're not gonna let you sell Nintendo games here. So, the stores pretty much didn't have a choice. Yeah, there we go. That's the end of that. Alright. Sure, why not? There we go. N. Because I hit the wrong button. Alright, uh, I'm going to do one more game. And then we'll rank the games that I played today. And then maybe I'll do something else. Because I did say I was going to stream for two hours, and it's only been one. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Let me spin the wheel. One more time. Well, let's see what pops up. Ooh, Golden Axe. That's a game I could actually probably play for more than two seconds. Yeah, you'll see. And I'll talk about it too when we uh, get to it, how they did it. First, let's get rid of Paperboy. And then let's bring up Golden Axe. Okay. Sometime. There it goes. There he is. There's good old Axe equals Battler. Okay, so in this one, uh, you can only play as Axe Battler, but it lets you choose what magic you want to take with you. So we're going to choose Fire, and look at this. There's no flicker, there's no slowdown, nothing. It's a little choppy, but it runs a hell of a lot better than you would expect on this system. And there's a secret as to why that is. What they did, um, instead of making sprites, uh, everything you see is background tiles. So all of the enemies, all of the, uh, my character, all of the movement, it was done by animating the background tiles. So there's no sprites at all. So with no sprites, there's no sprite flicker. Give me that. No, I want the chicken leg. Alright, fine. There we go. You gotta hit the two buttons together in order to do magic. Yes. But there's no flicker. Thank you. Now I have the chicken leg. And that is this creature's name. Give me your magic juice. Nope, there we go. Nope. You are not allowed to ride this animal. Ah, crap. You notice, though, how they're always ready to try to surround you. 
Oh, and we're at the boss already. You notice they don't really have get up animations, they just kind of, uh, magically stand up. Nope, turn around. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, there's way worse versions of this game. Yeah, stay right there. Got him. The music isn't too bad. And hey, we get the text. No, uh, music for the text, but that's okay. So here we are at level two, Turtle Village. Oh, don't want to go too far over there. Get away. There we are. No, I jump. Dragon. Give. Hee hee hee. Mine. No! Oh well. But it continues though. Wow. I teleported onto the dragon. Do you see that shit? Nope. Oh, well, that's the end of that. Thank you. There we go. Oh, come here, little elf guy. I'm gonna roast you in flames. Yeah, it's the only bad part is they constantly try to surround you. It's to the point where you can really screw with their AI if you get into a place where you can't be surrounded. They constantly try to get around behind you. Tried to jump. Jumping on a dragon didn't wasn't as effective. But yeah, I think they did a great job with this version. I mean, considering it's on the Sega Master System. Oh, a skeleton. Almost dead. You go. You got the shoulder tackle. You got that. You don't have the cool little twirl move. Oh, you only get one credit. Okay. <laughs> Two credits at most. All right. Um. All right. I got one more game I'm gonna do. And that game is the game that launched with the system. 
And also, it's the first game, first video game I ever played. Where is it? Here we go. Okay, so Hang On and Safari Hunt. Uh, Safari Hunt is a light gun game, so I'm going to do that separate. But we're going to play Hang On. And like I said, it's the first video game I ever played. And I'm still just as bad. So, just like World Grand Prix, you got your uh, accelerate and brake. You got gears you got to shift through. And you just got to watch out for the other people. Otherwise that happens. And this one you're on a time limit. Unlike uh, World Grand Prix. You actually have to make it to a checkpoint in order to uh, get through. Which I'm probably not going to. Like I said, at 39, I'm just as bad at this game as I was when I was three years old. Nope, didn't make it. I'm going to try again, though. Yeah, 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 shut up. Okay, let's try this again. Whoop. See, it's hard sometimes to try to get out of the way. And then when you're on a corner like this, you got to be careful of the guys sneaking up behind you. Because they will hit into you. So yeah, this was an arcade game first. Where the actual thing you controlled it with was a motorcycle. They had like a big replica of a motorcycle that you would control this game with. By leaning in order to steer. That's one thing Sega was really good with, with their arcade games. Hey, there we go. I actually made it to a checkpoint. Whoop, there you go. And you get turns like this. Where they're really hairpin. You gotta let go of the accelerator. Nope, bad. There we go. No. Whoop. Okay, let's ride the rail here. All right, there we go. Hey, nice. Now we're getting somewhere. So yeah, this was what launched with the system, because you got, you had the Sega Master System, you had two controllers, and the light gun. Which, let me tell you, this game got much more support for the light gun than the NES ever did. Oh, there we go. And I had to get tagged sooner or later. Which, I'm probably going to do its own episode for the uh, light gun games, because there's a lot. Whereas the NES only had like three or four, this one had like five or six. No. Cactus. Oh, I might still be able to make it. Let's see. Yes. Dastardly Cactus. Hey, it's night now. This has been a hell of a road trip. This is the best I've ever done in this game. <laughs> I 
I mean, granted, I didn't play it all that much, but still. Yeah, there we go. I'll run, I'll run this out, and then we'll get to the ranking. Uh, this game is going to be the middle ground, where all the other games are going to be put against. Because, like I said, this is the game that came with the system. Now, let's see. Nah, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. But let's keep trying. Nope. Definitely not now. Also, you gotta make sure you shift gears correctly. Nah, forget it. Oh well. Okay. That's enough of that. Let me pull up the... Uh, ranking board. Give me one second. Let me throw some music on. There we go. Okay, let me lower that a bit. I did not make a window yet for my ranking screen. So, uh, let me do that right now. <laughs> it should. It's Space Harrier. Okay. Capture cursor. There we go. Let me, uh... Where is it? It's up here. There we go. Let me, uh... Embig in this. See what we got. Okay, so there's exactly in the middle of the 114 games. There's Hang On Safari Hunt. So let me go here. It's going to disappear for a second. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go down the list here in the recycle bin so I don't forget anything. Uh, the first game we played tonight was Shanghai, which is uh, basically Mahjong Solitaire. And quite frankly, I would rather play Hang On Safari Hunt than that. So we'll put that right there. There we go. Shanghai. Let's see. Next, we played... Let's see. Uh, World Grand Prix was next. And World Grand Prix... Uh, let's see. Just a racing game, except you're in a car. Um, hmm. I do like Hang On better, 
but I would rather play World Grand Prix than Shanghai, so... Guess what? <laughs> Let's see... You're going down again, Shanghai. Whoop. There we go. That world grand pricks. Okay, shaping up good so far. Let's see. So that's World Grand Prix, Shanghai. I played Choplifter, which is a game that's hard as hell, but it's really fun. So we're gonna throw Choplifter up here. I feel Choplifter is better than Hang On Safari Hunt. Uh, Fantasy Zone 2, that's definitely going above. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait until you see when it's full, because I'm doing every single Sega Master System game. Right now I'm just covering the USA, but then I'm going to do Europe, uh, Brazil, Korea, and Japan, because they all have uh, games released specifically for those regions, especially Brazil. Because the Sega Master System lasted in Brazil until 1997. They were still made, and they still make uh, Master Systems down there today from the company Tech Toy. Fantasy Zone. I I. Tears of Opa Opa. And let's, uh. Let's see, well, it uh, won't let me do it yet. That's fine. It can go over a bit. Yeah, uh, basically what happened in the U.S., the company that handled the uh, marketing for Sega was Tonka. Yes, the toy truck company. And they fucked up. <laughs> They really didn't do a good job marketing the damn thing. Plus, with Nintendo of America going around basically telling stores that if they sold anything besides Nintendo games, they wouldn't be allowed to sell Nintendo games there. That caused a problem as well. However, uh, in Brazil, the company Tech Toy took over the marketing, and because Brazil has to pay such outlandishly high uh, taxes for imports, the Sega Master System pretty much went there unchallenged because it was too expensive to bring anything else in because the Tech Toy made their own so they didn't have to worry about importing anything. Same thing, similar thing within Europe because Nintendo in Brazil, uh, nin um, Europe in Brazil, Nintendo didn't do very well there. Sega pretty much did better. Except, you know, Japan and America were dominated by Nintendo, but that's how it goes. Alright, let's see. Uh, My Hero. My Hero is the most frustrating game I ever played. I can barely, I can never get past level 1 pretty much. But, it's more fun. <laughs> it's more fun than Hang on Safari Hunt. <laughs> So we're going to. Oh, it doesn't let me shift. Huh. It doesn't let me shift cells up. That's bizarre. Alright then. I'm gonna have to move this then. My hero. Fantasy Zone, my hero. Ah, Thunderblade. Hmm. 
That's easy. Very simple. <laughs> Alright, and last but not least, Paperboy. Oh, that one's even simpler. There we go. So, there's our little... Yes. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> there will be games that will replace this. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight games, not bad, out of 114. And you'll see if I scroll up. I got them all set up. Gonna widen this one a little bit. Oh, hold on. I gotta move this down a bit. No. So, there's USA, Europe. There's Japan. And there's Brazil and Korea. So yes, they all have uh, games individually made for them. And I'm going to rank all of them, but I'm going to do it uh, country by country. Because while I think Korea has the least amount of games, which I might do them next after I finish with the US, but Europe is going to have the most. So I might save that for last. And I'm probably going to be doing this project every Wednesday. Okay, let me shift this back. Let me see if I can move these up here. So I think that would be for the best. It would be much better if they were up top. And I just shifted them from there. There we go. That's much better. Because as long as that hang on and safari hunt stay yellow, so they signify that's where the median mark. Um, I don't care if it's down there or up here. Alright, let's see. Uh, 718. Hmm. Let's do one more game. This one's kind of a goof, but we'll do it anyway. Oh, hold on. Shut up. Oh, uh, shield your eyes for a moment, because I'm going to pull up the totally legit Sega Master System that I'm using, and it starts out with a staticky screen. Pull that down. <laughs> Just give it a second. Yeah, your eyes, my bit rate. It's the bit rate dimension. Okay. Uh, one day, I was messing around with the Sega Master System, and I said to myself, oh, I wonder what would happen if I turned it on without a game in it. So, uh, this comes up which is much better than the flashing screen that Nintendo had but if you press the one and two buttons and up you get a special bonus game 
This is Snail Maze. Oh, and I... I've lost already. <laughs> so yeah, even if you didn't have a game, uh, it comes with one, sort of. I mean, it's very simple. It's like the most rudimentary game you could find, but it's a game. You just gotta get the snail through the maze. It's pretty simple. There you go. Uh, there's 12 mazes. Each one a little bit more difficult than the last. I would always get uh, messed up around like maze 2. Like as you can see right now. They give you a pretty strict time limit as well. Nope, not that way. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Nope. <laughs> it's all the way around. Time up. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's what happens when you play it and don't uh, have a game. Okay, and we're going to rank that. Because it does count as a game. Whoops. There we go. And let's see. Snail maze. You know what? We're going to put it. Right there. There we go. There we go. All right, so uh, nine games. So that's not bad. Let me go to this. And I got to take, I'm back on the picker screen because I need to add a game back on and take a game off. There we go. Let's pull this down. There we go. And let me pull the logo back up. The logo I made. <laughs> I found a website that actually does uh, Sega Master System font and just typed that in and it printed that out for me. All right, so uh, thank you for joining me. I'm going to end a little early because there's only a half hour left. Yes. Streaming, I found a lot of very esoteric websites that cater to the things that I need exactly at that time. Like a website that removes, removes the background on an image for you. <laughs> so you can use it as a ping tuber, for example. That's how I was able to get the picture for the... Uh, uh, Mareep and Flaffy that I've been using for my Pokemon Soul Crystal playthrough uh, without a background so it could work with the green screen. So yeah, you'll find a lot of weird websites that cater to your exact needs when you're streaming and you look for them. Okay, huh. I forgot to locally record this episode. Well, I'm going to have to do some extra editing then. <laughs> Oh well, as long as the live thing got through fine, I don't care. Okay, let me close this.
Let me close this. Close that too. Save definitely. And let's see who's streaming. Okay. Oh, I see Zura Fruit is streaming, so we're gonna go harass him. Zura Fruit is streaming, so we're gonna go harass him. Oh, before I forget, thanks for watching. Bye.